What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 shocking WWE referees who fought back against a wrestler. It's always cool when a referee said, you know what? I ain't having this. You ain't about to put your hands on me. Get it together. I love it when wrestlers go rogue. It's the funniest thing ever, man. So this should be a good one. If I don't sound like my normal self, I'm kind of under the weather. I did take a COVID, uh, COVID test. It came back negative. So that is a blessing. It's just allergies are kicking my butt. So I am not at 100%, but I wanted to make sure at least I got you these videos. Before I go in chaos, I'll probably edit these um, in the morning whenever I wake up. So, But appreciate all love and support, man. Roll to 80K and let's do the damn thing. The role of the WWE referee is to ensure that order is maintained throughout the match. However, on occasion, the WWE referee will be forced to put their hands on the talent in the match itself to ensure that order is kept. Uh -huh. So, with that being said, let's take a look at 10 times <laughs> WWE referees fought back. I ain't having that shit, man. I'm gonna call the match down the god dang middle and you gonna operate within the rules god damn it yes, i love it be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on facebook for exclusive lists number 10 <sighs> wwe referees versus wcw referees one of the central storylines of the wwe angle. versus wcw invasion storyline was the feud between the two sets of referees yep this all came to a head at the invasion pay-per-view where wcw referee nick patrick went one-on-one -on -one this with was a Bill real Hebner. thing y'all during the course of the action, a mass brawl between the two sets of referees ensued, and for some of the referees, this was the first time they've ever gotten physical during their wrestling career. The match is notable for being the first and only referee <laughs> versus referee match in WWE history. Number this 9, the Unforgiven 1999 Main Event Heading into the 1999 Unforgiven pay-per-view, WWE ran a storyline which involved the WWE referees going on strike. The reason for this action was because the WWE referees <laughs> felt like they were being put under unsafe working conditions. As a result, non-official WWE referees, such as the Brooklyn Brawler and Tom Pritchard, stepped in to officiate the pay-per-view matches. The only official WWE referee who decided not to strike was Jimmy Corderas, who would end up refereeing the main event, which was a six-pack challenge for the WWE title. During the course of the match, the striking referees came down to ringside to pull Corderas out of the <laughs> ring. A physical confrontation then took place, which culminated in the striking referees beating down Corderas before Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Start beating this motherfucker, bro. Act in the chaos. That's funny, dog. Number eight, Rod Zapata <laughs> fights Cesaro and Sheamus. That's During funny, bro. During a live bro. event match between the Bar and the Shield in 2017, WWE referee Rod Zapata decided to get physically involved in the action. The Bar attempted to intimidate Zapata in the corner. This was when Zapata fought back with a verbal tirade to the former tag team <laughs> The exchange got so intense that the referee actually had Cesaro in the turnbuckle, and he began to scream in Cesaro's face. <laughs> the crowd absolutely loved the spot in the match, as it received one of the biggest reactions of the entire live event. <laughs> Number 7, awesome. Jack Doan stands up to test. Rest in peace, test. The 2002 No Way Out pay-per-view featured a match for the <sighs> WWE. Tag team Y'all remember when the stage setting appearance was so cool for each pay per view? Look at this. They got the semi trucks, with the semi truck in the middle. Bro, they, it was so cool. Now they're so boring and generic outside of WrestleMania. As champions, Taz and Spike Dudley defended the titles against Test and Booker T. During the closing moments of the match, Test attempted to use the ropes for leverage, but he was caught in the act by acting WWE referee Jack Doan. Test decided to push Doan out of anger, which Doan responded to by giving <laughs> a huge push to Test, which made Test stumble into Taz's Taz mission to secure the submission victory for the reigning tag team champions. Number 6, Scott Armstrong punches The Miz. One of the most infamous storylines in WWE yeah, this back was in a 2011 cool. was, a cool was the storyline story between The Miz and R-Truth and their conspiracies surrounding WWE. They were known as Awesome Truth, and they began to terrorize WWE, yeah. and they even tried to ruin a number of pay-per-view main events. One of the pay-per-view main yep. events they attempted to ruin was the Night of Champions 2011 main event between Triple H and CM Punk. Th that shit was actually During their cool. interference, WWE referee Scott Armstrong simply had enough and decided to punch The Miz. 
Sadly, Armstrong was beaten down by Truth and Miz following his outburst, but nevertheless, it was a great moment. I ain't gonna lie to you. Their little, their little stint they had was pretty cool. They were just destroying shit. They were going rogue. I actually enjoyed that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Fans to witness. Number five, Danilo and Fibio super kicks Rusev. WWE dark matches are traditionally a place where WWE <clears throat> talents can let loose and have fun. Back in 2018, during a six-man tag dark match which featured AJ Styles and the Usos taking on Rusev Day and Baron Corbin, the talent in the match incorporated a spot which featured Aiden English continuously receiving super kicks from the Usos. God damn. The spot then progressed to acting WWE referee Danilo and Fibio performing <laughs> a super kick on English, then performing a super kick on Rusev. Rather hilariously, the referee then attempted to pin Rusev for the victory. Sadly, this fun spot upset a number of key members of WWE management. Oh, wow. According to English on his YouTube channel, there were some concerns that there were going to be major penalties coming out of the incident. Damn. English would state, We get backstage and we get chewed a new one. Vince McMahon wasn't there, Triple H wasn't there, but the producers, the TR, talent relations people, and for some reason, I'm convinced because it was us and not some other major star, that's not how you do it. You buried yourself out there. You buried the business. You made us look like all this and that. People are not going to like this. This was the SmackDown, I believe, before WrestleMania. We had to fly right down to New Orleans for WrestleMania, and we get sat down. We get threatened with release, gigantic fines, $10,000, $20,000 no. fines, all this stuff. The referee was going to get fired, even though we were telling him, hey, great, do it. This is fun. The poor guy, I think he got fined in everything. Damn. It surfaced that the talent involved in the match were indeed fined by WWE, and John Cena actually stepped up to pay the fines, which goes to show how WWE clearly overreacted to a lighthearted. Yeah, they overreacted to that. They were just having fun. I get it, but it's a dark match. I mean, of course, people recording, but come on, bro. It wasn't that serious. Untelevised moment. Number four, Mike Chioda performs a people's yeah, elbow. Yeah, the people's on elbow Patrick. by Mike Chioda, man. Mike Chioda was one of the most famous WWE referees yep. to ever wear a striped shirt. Chioda spent a total of 31 years in the WWE before his shocking release in 2020. Yep. Kyoto has refereed some of the most memorable matches <clears throat> in WWE history, including Hulk Hogan vs. The Rock at WrestleMania 18 and John Cena vs. The Rock at WrestleMania 28. Referee's duties aside, there was one occasion where Kyoto actually got physical in the WWE ring. This act of physicality took place during the Invasion storyline in WWE back in 2001. WWE decided to book a six-man tag match between Kyoto, The Rock, and Chris Jericho, taking on the Dudley Boys and WCW <laughs> referee Nick Patrick. The finish of the match came when Kyoto hilariously performed yep. a people's elbow on Patrick for the 1-2-3. During an appearance on Monday Mailbag, this is what the WWE veteran had to say That's about awesome. the time he turned into a pro wrestler for the evening. Man, it feels great to go undefeated. <sighs> That's a good question. I actually love the fact that I'm undefeated. Yeah. That was such a great experience for me. I had so much fun. My family loved it. My sisters, everybody, all my nieces and everybody, and my mom were just so thrilled when they got to see that match and stuff like that. A bunch of friends. I mean, it was just a fantastic experience for me. So, and it was great to get a chance to actually, I think that was the only match I've ever wrestled in, in WWE history and my career. That's awesome, man. He's undefeated. He hit the people's elbow. Put that man in the Hall of Fame, bro. He's he's goaded. Number goated. three, Scott Armstrong has to face CM Punk. In 2009, WWE referee Scott Armstrong was forced to face CM Punk in a match on SmackDown. The match would act as a complete squash match as Armstrong was a retired wrestler turned referee and Punk was SmackDown's top heel at the time. Although Armstrong lost the match, he was no pushover in the match itself, and he delivered a number of stiff punches to Punk's face to show him that he wasn't going to be bullied into doing mm -hmm. Punk's bidding. He Wrestler vs. Me. referee matches in WWE are rare, but they have happened throughout the established Shot. history of WWE. <laughs> Number two, Earl Hebner Earl, punches Shane uh, McMahon. Yeah, Earl Hebner, he wouldn't, the most he wouldn't take no BS, bro. I, I remember Earl Hebner getting in Triple H's face. He like, bro, you keep your you keep your hands off me. You keep your hands off me, bro. Earl Hebner was not playing. Famous bro. referee in pro wrestling history is Earl Hebner. Hebner is known by virtually every wrestling fan, yep. and he has had some famous and infamous moments throughout his epic career. Fans look fondly on Hebner's feud with Triple H yep. during the Attitude Era. 
Hebner never fell for Triple H's villainous antics, and he would always try to make sure the match was as fair as humanly possible. This was certainly the case when Triple H yep. teamed up with the big boss man in Bull Buchanan to take on The Rock and the APA on SmackDown in April 2000. <laughs> During the match, Shane McMahon <clears throat> attempted to get involved in the match by jumping on the apron and grabbing Hebner by the collar. Hebner appropriately responded by pushing Shane off the apron to the sheer delight of the fans and the heavy faces <laughs> in the match. Number one, Earl Hebner takes the fight to DX. Hey man, Earl it Hebner wasn't just is that guy. SmackDown, which saw Earl Hebner stand ah! up to DX during a house show in 2000. Hebner simply had enough of Triple H's yep. shenanigans. During a featured match, Triple H pushed Hebner, which Hebner responded to by pushing Triple H back with all his strength. Ah! Hebner then. <laughs> <laughs> he started whooping his ass, bro. Earl Hebner is goaded, bro. He is so goaded. That's why I loved him as a referee, because he was not going to take Triple H's BS, bro. He was he was the type to whoop your ass back. I love it. actually him. began physically booting Triple H out of the ring. Incredibly, Hebner also laid out DX members Road Dogg and X-Pac with punches. It was an amazing moment, and afterwards, Hebner even gave DX a signature crotch chop. Ha 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 ha! have it, folks. As always, leave that was great, below. man. We'll see you next time with some more. That was awesome. I love this video, man. If you enjoyed this video, y'all definitely got to hit a like. What's your? Who's your favorite referee, man? Right now, right now, that's they're still officiating. Who's your favorite referee? Put comment down below, you know, saying that's officiating right now, or maybe they officiated in the past. They don't referee anymore. Who's your favorite referee? Put it down in the comments below. But I'm about to go get me some rest because I am drained. Uh, but I wanted to make sure I bring you guys some content this weekend, so uh, just bear with me if it's not as many videos like it normally is. It's just I'm just trying to feel better. But appreciate all the love and support. Road to 80k, appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.